What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Third Degree Fishing. It's been a while since I posted a video. I've actually had two surgeries that I had to recover from. <clears throat> One being a scar release on my left index finger. The second being laser procedures on my right arm. But I'm back now. I've actually made two or three different videos in between my recovery times. So be on the lookout for those. But my most recent adventure has been out in Aransas Pass looking for trout. But I end up picking up a good limit of reds. So before I get to this video, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do. I really do appreciate it if you, if you do that. And second, never believe that you can't achieve anything. Always believe in yourself. Never give up on yourself. And with the right positive attitude, anything is possible. So hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. died down on here it's supposed to be like 10 to 15 a day but that's not the case feels like a red yeah it's pulling like a red what if it's a giant 30 inch trout oh I wish no that's a red pool There's be one or two cruising around here. That's a good red, too. There's been plenty of bait jumping around. Just had to find one that was eating. Brought my fish back out today. I don't know if we're keeping. We're gonna, we're gonna haul back. We're gonna haul butt back to San Antonio around noon. fish fry for everyone. Ah! Don't run in the kayak. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come on. Get over here. You're hooked good. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah. See where he goes. Probably like 22, 23. Nice little 21. Yeah, 21 and uh, 21 and a half. I don't think we'll keep him. Pretty little thing. Blue tail. Let's get a shot. Pretty little guy. Get out of here. Picked up another one. Same little island. Oh, that might be a red. Don't go behind me. Don't go behind me. Yeah, that feels like a good red. Oh yeah, that's a red. Slow down. Slow down. No. <laughs> Come on. 
There we go. Drag's tight. Not too tight. We're going for trout today. And everyone knows that that, that trout, they have paper thin mouths. Come here. Get over here. Nope. He does not want to give up. Come on. Get up here. Get your big butt over here. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Maybe 24, 25. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you're getting tired. Oh, you're heavy too. So pretty, so pretty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Come on. Come on. I know you're getting tired. There we go. There we go. Come on. A little bit more. There we go, big boy. So I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Look at this big boy. Oh yeah, look at him, look at him, look at him. Healthy, let's see, let's see where he goes. Oh yeah. 25, 25 and a half. If we were going for redfish today, man, today would have been a good day. Boom! Got him! Got him right! People do it like that, right? Slow motion. <laughs> We're gonna let him go. Because I don't think we're keeping the fish. I don't think I have enough time to get the fish. By the time I get home, Party. Start up that little fishy, 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 fishy guy. So let's send him on his way. See ya. Number two. If we get one more, I think we'll call it a day. Looks like a lot of redfish are out here. So we'll cruise around, see what else we can get. <laughs> Here we go, got one more. I didn't even think I set the hook on this guy. He hit it. I set the hook. And I thought I lost him. It turned out he was actually just running right to me. So if this guy's over 20, I don't make a limit of reds. He might be. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Come on. Oh, no, 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 get over here. No, get over here. Ah. Man, look, they're only single hooks, so. Nah, he'll probably be like 17 at the most. Let's see, let's find out. Give him a measure. Yeah, it'll be like 16, 17. 
Hey, calm down, relax. You're gonna go back in. Promise. Promise. Let's see, 19, 19 and a half. Pretty little blue tail. Calm down, I'm throwing you back. Oh. Get the release. Get the release. Get up. Don't float up. There you go. Get out of here. Ooh. I could go for a bacon and egg taco right now. Or a giant 30 inch trout. Either one. Either one would do good. Need some tips how to be more enthusiastic out here. I feel like my voice is real monotone, just blah, 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 blah. It's so hard to talk to yourself out here. I'm always saying funny stuff. Oh. I'm always saying funny stuff in my head, but it's hard to, hard to talk to yourself out loud. Really just enjoy being out here, period. And I'm always talking to myself in my head. Oh, that looks like, that looks like a good spot. Oh, there's some bait jumping there. Oh, look at that stingray, you know. In my head, I'm having like four or five different conversations. But talking out loud is a lot different. Maybe I should do some like public speaking or something. Or comedy classes. I don't know. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Get over here. He was hitting it three, four different times. Good little trout. <laughs> and he came off. No big deal. It's probably like a 17, 18 inch trout. I missed a giant ass red earlier. Oh, he hit it. On my super spook. But I had the... Had the hooks facing... Like super weedless. I'll show you here in a second. So I have weedless hooks on my on some of my top waters. Well, in really grass situations, I switch this one backwards. But what happens is it gets kind of pushed up like that. So I was thinking to myself, you know what? Just turn it around. There's not too much floating grass, so I could face it the other way. So they'll both be facing, you know, towards towards the lure. Exactly what I knew was gonna happen. So how I normally have them, they're set up like that, so they're both facing the, the front of the lure. And exactly what I thought was gonna happen, that red picked it up, and I don't think he got one of those hooks. I think he just had it in his mouth for a couple seconds, and then that was it. But it popped right out. Come on. Hit it again. I know you're out there. There he is. Missed it again. Come on. There he is. Hit it. Hit it. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Just eat it. Eat it. Stop missing it. Why are you missing it? Why are you missing it? Hit it. Hit it. Did you got it? You got it. 
<laughs> I just let it sit there. I knew he was gonna get it. Oh yeah. There we go, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping I got that on, on video. I am hoping I got it inside. Now I just need don't need him to spit it. That was insane. That was insane. <laughs> Oh, he's mad. I hit it. <laughs> oh, man. I, that was nuts. Literally just let it sit there. He probably went after it four or five different times. Oh, this is a big boy. This is a big boy. Oh, man. He's way out there. Come on. I don't want to drop anchor and chase him. I think I might have to. Let's turn around. Oh, come on. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on. That was nuts. Literally nuts. I let that lure just sit there. And he was hungry. Definitely wanted it. And we're not even in like a foot of water. Maybe a foot and a half. I can barely use my drive out here. Come on, big girl. Come on, get over here. Solid red. I had to let him eat it. That's all I had to do is let him eat it. Let him take it. I just let it sit there like a dead, like a dead mullet, like a stunned mullet. Come on, baby. Get up here. And one thing I do love about these, these inline hooks once they get them, once you stick them, stick that hook set, it's hard for them to come off. Especially with these reds. These reds got such thick lips. All it takes is that one hook to get set right in that lip. And then boom. Come on, get in here. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Whoo! Solid limit. Solid limit of trout. I'm trout. <laughs> Solid limit of reds today, man. I wouldn't even think that they would be out here. Look at that. Single hooks right in the corner of the lip. Hungry. Hungry, hungry hippos. Alright, let me pop this off. Like I said, once they get them in that, that corner, they do not come off. But you're always taking that chance of them actually not getting hooked. But if they do, they do. Another 24 and 3 quarters. Bam, baby, bam. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Get all pretty for the camera. Say ah. Say ah. Chill out, chill out. I'm letting you go. I'm just going to get you. Get a nice little picture. Nice little mouth shot. Going back in, no worries. No worries today, no worries today. Solid, solid. Cruising. 
to get the release. Get out of here. See ya. Number three, and I think that's gonna close it for the day. I gotta start a little 10, 15 minute paddle. Paddle back to the truck. Looking for trout and ended up with three ribs. What do you know? And it's January like 26th, 25th or something like that. Water temp's like 65 degrees and they're still actively hungry. That's crazy. So we've had a hard time finding reds, but I just stuck it out. Threw some different lures, even top water on this foggy, cloudy day. And what do you know? Picked up a limit. Solid reds too. Nope, not keeping them. Threw them all back. And uh, I think that'll end it for the day. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.